Ever been asked in a job interview to describe a situation where you had to use data to make a decision? It's a common question and one that can stump even the most seasoned professionals. You see, in today's digitalized world, data is king. It's the fuel for informed decision making and is essential to driving business success across a broad range of sectors, from finance to marketing, healthcare to retail, the ability to interpret and apply data is an invaluable skill. And it's not just about crunching numbers, it's about understanding trends, identifying patterns, and using this information to guide strategic decisions. That's why interviewers often ask this question. They want to see how you handle data, how you interpret it, and most importantly, how you use it to drive results. So why do interviewers ask this question? Let's dissect the rationale behind it. Interviewers ask this question to gauge your analytical skills and your ability to make informed decisions. You see, in today's fast-paced digital landscape, data-driven decision-making is a must-have skill. It's not just about crunching numbers, it's about understanding trends, interpreting complex information, and predicting future patterns. This question is a way for potential employers to peek into your thought processes. It's about seeing if you can sift through the noise and find the signal. It's about testing your ability to carve out logical, effective solutions from a mountain of data. And it's about proving your proficiency with data analysis tools, which are vital in today's tech-driven workplaces. Moreover, your approach to this question can reveal how you make decisions. Are you impulsive or deliberate? Do you consider multiple perspectives or stick to a single viewpoint? These insights can be incredibly valuable to prospective employers. Now that we understand the why, let's explore some variations of this question. This question can take several forms, but they all lead to the same destination. Variations might include, can you share an instance where you use data to drive a decision? Or perhaps, how have you leveraged data in your decision-making process? Regardless of the wording, the interviewer is looking for the same core information. In crafting your response, it's crucial to include a few key elements. Start by identifying a specific problem or challenge you faced. This sets the stage and provides context for your response. Next, you'll want to discuss how you went about gathering relevant data. Did you use surveys, customer feedback, or internal metrics? Highlight your resourcefulness and initiative here. Once you've established how you collected the data, delve into how you analyzed it. Did you use any specific tools or methodologies? This part of your response underscores your analytical skills and your ability to make sense of complex information. Lastly, share the outcome of your decision. Did your data-driven decision lead to increased sales, improved customer satisfaction, or more efficient processes? This is your chance to demonstrate the real-world impact of your data analysis skills. Remember, the goal isn't just to show that you can crunch numbers. It's to illustrate how you use data to inform decisions and drive results. Armed with this knowledge, let's distinguish between a good and a bad response. A good response showcases your analytical mind, while a poor one can leave the interviewer questioning your competency. Let's dissect this further. Imagine the question is, describe a situation where you had to use data to make a decision. A poor response might be, I once used sales data to decide which product to promote. This is vague, lacks detail, and doesn't show your thought process. On the other hand, a good response could be, in my previous role as a marketing manager, I used customer purchase data to identify the best-selling product in the last quarter. I then analyzed the marketing strategies used for this product, made adjustments based on the data, and saw a 20% increase in sales. This response is specific, concise, and illustrates a clear, logical thought process. In essence, a good response should tell a story highlighting your ability to interpret data and make informed decisions, while a bad response is vague and fails to demonstrate your analytical skills. Remember, preparation is key. Let's recap. In summary, this question is about demonstrating your ability to use data to drive decision making. We've covered the context, purpose, variations, and key elements of the question. We've also highlighted examples of strong and weak responses. The crux of it all is preparation. Practice your responses, leverage your experiences, and articulate how you've used data to make informed decisions. With the right approach, you can turn this tricky question into a winning moment. Remember, every interview is an opportunity to showcase your skills. Good luck. Thank you for watching. If you found value in today's video, please hit that subscribe button for more helpful content. Got questions or ideas? 
comment below or connect with me on LinkedIn, especially if you're exploring opportunities or hiring. Remember, it only takes one opportunity to transform your career journey. Keep striving and stay optimistic. Your persistence will pay off. Peace and success to you.